We're on a bear den hike right now with the kids. Looking for a bear den. I'm pretty excited about this one because uh, we're bears. Yeah, bear. <laughs> Else? You so, like lawn chairs or a patio? Lawn chairs and a patio. <laughs> Actually, uh, so this is just one example of a bear den. They certainly do not have to look like this, um, but it's a good example because you can kind of see where the bear has dug out underneath of this tree. So uh, what happened was this birch tree uh, grew out of an old stump. So when it sprouted from seedling, it grew out of an old stump that eventually rotted away and left the root system kind of exposed like this. So it was a really perfect spot for a black bear to kind of dig out beneath it. Um, so as I said, this is just one example of a bear den. If you were thinking of a big cave, you would be correct. If you were thinking of a hole in the ground, you would also be correct. If you were thinking of a brush pile, you would be correct. Um, if you were uh, male black bears, on the other hand, are a little less particular. So sometimes they will literally prop themselves up against a stump and just let the snowfall cover them for winter and that's it. So we have March or April, yeah, May even. So up here, our winters are so long and they can go, I mean, we typically have snow in May. So yeah, yep. Um, if, if the snow is melting and some plants are coming up, then they'll come out. So it must be a body clock thing. I'm not exactly sure how they know. Yeah. 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 Right? It's gonna make it a little harder to get a picture of you guys in there. What? Because it's in front of it. Here. There you go. This is my coat rack. Alright, go check out your it's my go coat check rack. out your bear den. Okay. Oh my gosh, with all the stuff and stuff. Connor, you sound like an evil demon. Shit! <laughs> Said I could fit two bears in here. And bear too. Okay, where's Connor's face? Because like there's like the roots. Right. Connor, get your face up here. Right. <laughs> Kinda, sorta. You gotta get closer, bud. There we go. Right. <laughs> okay, smile now for me. There we go. <laughs> okay, I did. Jeez. Rar is right. Are we stuck in the bear cave? No. <laughs> okay. Ooh, hello. 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 And you found everything on your, your tree coat rack, right? My tree coat rack, yes. Just smack myself in the bed. Back of the leg. Okay. On red. I'm going to notice a couple things. So while you're looking at the bear pelt, um, notice the fur. It's very, very thick, and that is actually a winter coat. So that's why it looks so thick like that. And also take a look at those big claws. So the claws are still on that. And you can see uh, just how much damage they might do, especially to our cabins. So uh, really big claws, really great for digging, um, especially excavating or digging out their dens, just like the den back there. Um, so while you're looking at the, the black bear and looking at that nice thick fur, um, it's something that you would think keeps them pretty warm in the winter time but it actually doesn't do that much. So the, the fur helps just a little bit, but fat is what really helps. So in the fall, black bears are on a complete mission. Like, like I said earlier, their, their schedules revolve around food. Everything revolves around food. Even their body systems, their bodily functions revolve around food. So if they can't get enough food, um, they A, might not survive winter, or B, uh, if it's a female bear, she might not have cubs, even though uh, mating season has already happened. So for those of you who are wondering how that works, ask me after the hike. 
Um, I try not to explain it in great depth um, <laughs> with children, so um, but possibly can, which helps them gain about two pounds a day in the fall. So they can gain weight very, very quickly, and you can imagine they, they burn through all of that. So if they're staying in a den for six whole months, they're going to burn through that, which is why they eat so much. So um, is anyone a hunter here? Yeah. Um, bear hunting does happen late fall for that particular reason, so you have a better chance of getting a black bear to come in uh, if, you're, if you're baiting in the fall when they're looking for food. So uh, black bears, like I said, will eat just about anything, and that includes jelly donuts, granola, uh, molasses, um, anything good like that. Grease, they love it. So, um, oh, oh my. What, what is that? It's <laughs> one. It's All right. Well, it really helps a little. I mean, if you it's were a human. Helps people. Are you much happier yeah. now? Yes. It's, um, <laughs> it's funny because during some of the hikes, especially later on in the fall, um, when it's chilly, a lot of the kids want to carry the fur for me. And mm. I'm like, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> and uh, they'll do it in the summertime, too. So it'll be like 90 degrees. And here's this kid who mm -hmm. wants to carry the wolf fur. And he's just... <laughs> sweating and looks miserable but, but he's, he's so, so happy he gets carried the fur yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that look on her face says yeah that'd be me 